Welcome back my loves and thanks so much for watching yet again. I figured I hadn't done a smoky eye look in a while so here's my take on a smoky look combining warm and cool tones and some metallics. So here I am with a bare face and I'm going to begin by putting my hair back. Now I'm going to start with the eyes and to prime my lids I'm using this anti-aging potion primer by Urban Decay. It's a nice lightweight primer that I'm just going to apply with my fingers. The shadows that I'm going to use are from the Anastasia Beverly Hills World Traveler Palette and the first color that I'm going to use is this soft beige shade that's going to go just into my brow bone, um, blending it a little bit into my crease as well so that I can build darker colors over it. Now my main transition shade is going to be Morocco which is a nice brick toned neutral shade. I'm starting at the center part of my crease and just blending this into the inner and outer part of my crease, basically the entire crease. Just using small circular motions to really blend that in. Now to add more depth to this look, I'm going to take Fudge, which is a matte dark brown shade, and I'm going to focus this mostly on the outer part of my crease and my lid. I'm using a smaller blending brush to apply this, so I'm just going to apply it over that transition color and into my crease and this is also going to go at the inner part of my uh, crease as well just at the inner corner. I'm going to start blending this into the center part of my crease as well but I'm not actually taking more product and adding it there I'm just kind of blending what I had on my brush into the center part of my lid as well. Again starting at the outer part this is where I want uh, the darkness really concentrated is that outer edge of the crease and the lid and then working it into the inner part and the center of my crease. Now going back to my fluffy blending brush, I'm just going to blend out the edges, make sure it looks nice and smooth and blend it out. All right, now that I have the neutrals down, I'm gonna move on to the My Party Weapon palette by Motives. This has the most incredible gunmetal shimmery color I've ever seen. It's called Flash. I'm going to start applying this with a shadow brush starting at the lash line and just kind of stippling it up toward my crease just so it blends nicely with those neutral shades. And to add a bit more highlight I'm going to combine the blue and the silver metallic colors as well and add that just to the center of my lid. And again I'm starting at that lash line and really firmly stippling that into my lid just so I get a nice color payoff and then as I work my way up I'm just adding less pressure and then going in and adding that highlight just at the center of my lids. And now for a slight bit of definition I'm taking a black eyeliner pencil by Urban Decay and I'm going to apply this just mostly at the outer corner of my eye and creating a very small wing. It doesn't have to be perfect because I am going to go in and smudge it out with a smudge brush. So really I'm kind of just smoking out that line. Because this is a shadow heavy look, I don't want to do liner as well. For me it's either a lot of shadow and either no liner or a little liner or no shadow and a lot of liner. <laughs> so now I'm moving on to a little bit of mascara but of course for a look like this I do want to add some false lashes but instead of a strip lash this time I opted for individual lashes that just came out by House of Lashes. These come with the traditional individuals as well as some longer single pieces which I really like but for this look I'm really focusing on the outer corner of my eyes just to really give it that cat eye shape so I'm really just adding most of these to uh, the halfway point and further out. I know it's kind of hard to see me apply these but I do have an entire video dedicated to applying strip lashes and individual lashes on my channel so you can check that out. Alright I'm going to stop with the eyes here and move on to the face. Now you guys know I love both the Born This Way foundation from Too Faced and the Makeup Forever Ultra HD so I'm just going to mix these two and go in with my beauty blender. This might look a tad dark for me but I am going to brighten it up with a highlighter, don't you worry. So because this highlighter concealer is a little bit too light for me, at least I think it is, um, after I blend I'm going to turn that beauty blender around and just kind of go over it with my foundation just so it darkens it up a little bit. And 
And now for some contouring, I'm going to go in with my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer and with an angled uh, contouring brush, I'm just going to go into the hollows of my cheekbones, um, a little bit into my jawline, and a little my hairline as well. With an intense eye look, I try to keep the contour not so intense just so um, the two looks don't fight one another. Uh, it kind of keeps the whole look just a little bit on the softer side. And for my blush, I'm going in with this peachy coral shade by Lorac. I think it's a perfect color to complement the look. And now I'm ready to go back into the eyes and work on the bottom lash line. I'm taking that soft peach shade and going in with a smudge brush and just applying that to my bottom lash line. And just like I did on my top lash line, I'm just going to build with darker colors going in with Morocco and just deepening that um, bottom lash line, just making it look a little bit more smoky and then finishing off with a little bit of fudge. And this is just going to give it sort of a warm, smoky look on the bottom lash line. And now that I've finished up on my bottom lash line, I can go ahead and set my makeup under my eyes. I'm going in with the Galactic Powder. Um, this has kind of been my go-to lately. It works really well. And finally, adding some mascara to my bottom lash line. Now for this look, I'm not going to actually fill in my brows. I'm just going to use my NYX Brow Mascara in Brunette. And just use this to slightly fill in my brows, I guess, with a tint of the gel. But mostly just keeping my brows groomed and in place. I need a good wax ASAP. <laughs> And finally, I'm going with this lip pairing. I'm going to start off with the NYX Lip Liner in Nude. Um, more than actually lining my lips, I'm sort of filling in my lips with this color. Uh, it's a nice base for really anything you put on top. And then I'm going to go over it with uh, a lip gloss by The Balm. It's called Snap. It is the perfect sort of latte shade. It's just a really good warm toned nude gloss. I really hope you guys enjoyed this dramatic look. Please do give it a thumbs up if you did. And thank you once again for watching. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you very soon.